Hello and welcome to my quest guide for the Carnelian Rising quest. This guide gives a fast paced summary of each part of the quest, so if you'd rather have a slower paced real time playthrough for this quest, then click the annotation on screen right now, or click the link in the description, otherwise let's get started. So the requirements are that you must have completed Hesiel Cult and the Blood Pact quests, as well as have level 33 thieving and level 31 construction, and you must also have at least 50 quest points. You don't need any particular items, but I would recommend bringing a method of banking such as a Tockel Zoe Ring or a Ring of Dueling, so that you can retrieve food later on in the quest, and you need inventory space for the rest of the quest, so that's why you don't bring any food with you to begin with. If you're confident in your abilities however, then you should find that the Enhanced Excalibur should provide enough healing for you. You may also want to bring some weight reduction gear, as it will help with the boss at the end of the quest. To start the quest, talk to Xenia who stood outside the Carnelian house, which is south next to the Ardoin castle. Spam through some dialogue and accept the quest, then talk to Serral Carnelian inside the house. Spam through more dialogue until he gives you a list. Talk to the butler nearby, who will help you create a quest for a child named Philip, and get him to follow you, then head down the ladder nearby. Enter the hole in the wall to the east to get a cutscene. After the cutscene, go back through the hole in the wall. You'll now need to scavenge the entire house, which includes the upper floors, for items which are as follows. In the basement, there's a cupboard on the north wall which contains 9 wooden boards, twine, shears and some wine. On the west side, take 7 buckets of water. Then go back up to the ground floor and head up the stairs to the upper floor. In the eastern room on the upper floor, take 2 mounted dragon heads from the west wall. Take the armour and sword from the wardrobe on the south wall. Tear the neck curtain from the northeast part of the room and take the money pouch from the bed. In the northwest room of the upper floor, search the painting set for red paint. Head back down to the basement and talk to the chef and convince him to be the drunken jailer for the quest. Take the spider next to the hole in the wall and build cobwebs on the hotspot. Go through the hole and follow the path to build a pool at the first build hotspot. Follow the path east and build bloodstained decorations at the next hotspot. Follow the path west and then north, ignore the guard hotspots and build more bloodstained decorations on the west wall just north of them. Follow the path east and talk to the two goblins and convince them to be the guards. They'll ask for armour so just give it to them when they do ask. Build a tripwire trap near where the goblins were stood and build another tripwire further east along the path. Just to the north of the tripwires on the east wall build another bloodstained decoration. Head southeast until you come to a dark passage that takes you to a room on its own. Enter the passage and wait for a rat on the east side of the room and catch it when it appears. When you catch it, the wolves in the room will start to follow you. Take the spoils heap on the south side of the room to receive more items. Head back up the path from which you came and head north past the tripwires that you built. Keep going north until you come to dragon hotspots and the wolves will fill those places. Use the two dragon heads on the wolves. Head back to the entrance to the dungeon by right clicking exit on the butler following you, and talk to the chef to get him to follow you. With the chef following you, head back north along the path towards the dragons and build on the jailer hotspot to get the chef to stay there. Right click exit on the butler again, then head back up to the top level of the house. Talk to Sarsa Perilla in the southwest room and keep talking to her to try to convince her to help you with the quest. She'll take some convincing, but you'll eventually have the option to tell her you're producing a drama. You'll then need to tell her to be the damsel in distress. Get her to follow you, and then take her to the dungeon in the basement to get her to stop following you. Then head back up to her room and take the dress from her wardrobe. Head back down to the basement. Go through the hole in the wall and talk to Sarsa Perilla again to get her to follow you. Then follow the path again towards the dragons and tie her up at the hotspot behind the dragons. Give the money pouch to the chef, who is the drunken jailer, to the south of the dragons, then right click exit on the butler again to head back to the house. You may want to take this opportunity now to bank and get some food, as it's now time to start the quest that you've set up. You may also want to bring some energy potions if you don't have any weight reduction gear. Once you're ready, talk to Philippe, who is on the ground level of the house, and offer him the quest. At first he'll reject it, so once he does, pickpocket him to get his sweets, and offer this quest again, but with the reward of his sweets. Head back down to the basement and begin the quest in the dungeon with Philippe. Cross over the pool and tell Philippe to do it for the sweets. When you come to the guards, you'll get a cutscene. After the cutscene, talk to Slime Pits, but don't spam through the dialogue too quickly. 
When the narrator appears in the dialogue, wait until Philippe sneaks past and then talk to Philippe again to get him to follow you. When you come to the tripwire, spam through the dialogue and you'll give him shears so that he can cut the tripwire. He'll do the same again for the other tripwire, and then when you head north, you'll give Philippe a dress and some wine. Walk north a bit to trigger a cutscene. After the cutscene, head north and talk to Philippe again, then head towards the dragons. Tell him that he couldn't fight a big dragon, and he'll immediately grab the sword from you and kill the dragons. After defeating them, a wolf matriarch will appear, but you won't be allowed to do damage to it. When you try to attack the matriarch, spam through the dialogue with Philippe and ask how you can help. He'll tell you to distract the matriarch, so try to attack it again to get it to attack you, then run around to avoid its white ball attacks until Philippe kills it. There will also be rocks that fall from the ceiling occasionally, which are harder to avoid but don't do a lot of damage. Once the matriarch is dead, talk to Philippe to get another cutscene. After the cutscene, talk to the butler to get another cutscene. After that cutscene, talk to Xenia, who is stood outside the house. Choose this So What Happens Now dialogue option, and talk to Cyril inside the house to complete the quest. Make sure you claim your rewards from the chest next to Cyril. If you want an extra reward after the quest, I would recommend banking at this point to get enough gear and food to defeat the level 283 matriarch from the quest. I'd recommend using a range setup, but any gear is fine as the fight isn't that hard. Once you're ready, head to the basement in the house and talk to the chef who will tell you about the matriarch and will ask you for its skull. Head through the hole in the wall to be taken to a passage, pot up and turn on your prayers and head into the passage when you're ready but don't protect from magic as it will make the fight harder. Proceed to kill the matriarch. The fight is the same as in the quest, so run around to avoid the white ball attacks, and there'll be rocks that randomly fall from the ceiling. If you protect from magic, then the rocks will fall from the ceiling more frequently, which is harder to avoid. Other than that, the fight is fairly simple, so pick up the skull once you've defeated the matriarch, and head back along the path to talk to the chef and choose your reward. And that's it for this quest. If this guide has been useful, then leave us a like and subscribe. And if I've got anything wrong, then feel free to leave a comment saying so. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.